Now we're going to move on to a new chapter, trigonometry. Okay, so with trigonometry, you're, you're, you're mainly dealing with triangles. Um, and remember, trigonometry only works if, you, if, you, if your triangle has one 90 degrees. So this has to be at nine degree, 90 degrees. Um, this length here is called the hypotenuse. Okay, uh, and this, this, this side here uh, is called the adjacent. And this, uh, the, the longest side is called the hypotenuse. Okay, the, the, these are just these are just names um, to, to to help us communicate with each other. Okay, so opposite, uh, hypotenuse, and adjacent. Okay, so um, if 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 you're if you're given this this angle here, so so this is fifty three degrees, and you're given another length. Let's say this is seven meters. Um, you, you can you can actually calculate how how long this length is, okay? Or you can calculate this length here. That's that's what trigonometry is about. Um, if you if you're given an angle here and one one other length, uh, th let's say this one here, you can calculate it. You can calculate this length or this length, okay? So so let's. To, I'm now going to show you how it's done. Um, so imagine you're you're on a beach here, okay? This this is a sea here. Okay, and the sun is here. Um, so the sun has two rays coming out of it. Okay, so you start here and then you go up here. Now you, you see a sign. So so the, the sun the, the sun is shining out. Okay, it has two rays shining out. You are lying on the beach. So if, if the sun is shining down, you, you're lying on the beach. So you're going to get a sun tan. Okay, uh, and and the sun shining upwards. You see a sign, a sign to heaven. So a sign. Okay, I, I know it's spelled like this, but uh, let's 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 just let's just imagine sign. As in, you see a sign to heaven, and then the last one is uh, is a cord jumping out of the water. Okay, so so oh, I can't draw a cord. Um, uh, so th so this is a cord. You see you see a cord jumping out of the water. So cord sounds like course, so it's course. Okay. So um, vi visualize it. Visualize it as uh, as this thing here. You, you're you're lying on the beach. Uh, the sun the sun is here. Um, the sun is here. Two rays coming out. One you see a sign to heaven, and the other one you're lying on the beach. So uh, you you get a sun tan. Okay. This is a a cord a cord jumping out of the water. So it's course. Bear with me. I know it sounds weird, but just just bear with me. So here, you, remember, you're lying on the beach, and then you're going to get a sun tan. So tan theta, which is tan, if you tan this angle here, equals. Well, look look at this. Tan is this one here. You start here. This is the opposite. Remember, this is the adjacent. So so opposite. So 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 tan theta will be opposite. Because you start at the opposite here, and then you hit the adjacent, so you hit this this adjacent here. So so tan theta equals opposite over adjacent, okay? And uh, and if if you also see a sign, a sign to heaven. So sign to heaven, you start here, which is opposite again, okay? Over over. Well, you hit the hypotenuse. This is the hypotenuse. Okay, so you start here, which is the opposite. You always start there, and then and then you hit the hypotenuse, so H. Okay, and the last one, cod jumping out of the water. So cod sounds like cos, so cos theta equals. Well, look at this. You start here. The cod starts here, which is uh, the adjacent. Remember, this is the adjacent. Uh, the adjacent, and then and then you hit the hypotenuse, so over. Hypotenuse. Okay, so just bear with me. So, so these are the three things you have to remember: uh, tan theta, okay, uh, cos theta equals opposite over hypotenuse. Uh, sorry, sine theta equals opposite over hypotenuse, and cos theta will be uh, opposite. Uh, sorry, adjacent over hypotenuse. Okay, just just bear with me. So now, if if you're given this. Um, if you're given this triangle here, um, it has 54 degrees. So hang on, let, let me clear up everything. So if you're given this triangle here, 
Um, you, you, you're told that this is 45, uh, 54 degrees, this is 9 meters, work out this length here. Okay? You could, if you wanted to, work out this length here, if you wanted to. But let's, let's concentrate on working out, working out this length here. Okay? So, um, visualize as this. The sea here, you're on the beach, and the sun is here. So this is your sun. And, and remember, the sun always has two rays coming out. But, but you, this, this, what, decide which two sides you're dealing with. You are dealing with this side, because you want to know this, this length. And also, you're given this length here. So you, you're going to need the, uh, the, the sign to heaven. Can you see that? Sign. You're going to need sign. It's no point using tan because you, you don't really care. This, this is not really involved in, in what we're doing. Uh, we are, we want to know this and we're given this. So we, we're going, we're going to need the opposite and the hypotenuse. Okay? You see a sign to heaven. You're going to need the, you, you don't care about the adjacent. The, the adjacent has nothing to do with what we're doing. So when you're given this, visualize it. You're on the beach here. Okay? The sun is here. And, uh, and your, the two sides, decide which two sides you're dealing with. You're dealing with this side here, which is the opposite. This is a hypotenuse, okay? You're dealing, well, you see a sign to heaven because, because of the two sides. So you know you're going to need sine, okay? So sine theta, uh, uh, so, so you're going to need this, sine theta, and you start with the opposite over hypotenuse. Okay, well, the theta is this bit here, so you, you put this into here, okay, so, so it will be, um, it will be, uh, sine 54 equals, well, opposite is x, so you put the x into the opposite, so it will be, uh, 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 x, okay, that doesn't matter for the time being, so you, so you put the, the x into the o, and, and then the hypotenuse, well, you, you're given that this is 9. So, so you put this into here. So, um, so this will be uh, nine, okay? And uh, and uh, yeah, and and here um, you you want to find out x. So what? Oh, sorry. This is just a number. Just remember that um, it's just a number. So, so to find out x, you times both sides by 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 nine, okay? You times both sides by nine. So it will be uh, this will be x. And this will be 9 sine 54. Okay, remember this is just a number. So we will jump to a calculator. Okay, we will jump to a calculator. Uh, uh, make sure you're, you're on degrees. So, so when you're working trigonometry, you, you have, you have uh, radians or degrees. Select degrees. If you don't, if you don't understand this, ask your teacher in, in school. Get, get, get the calculator to work in degrees. Okay, so here you've got sine 54. Sine 54 is just a number. So what, what you do, just punch in 54 and then sign it. Different calculators will work in different ways. So, so, um, so with, with this calculator, I type in 54. I think with your calculator, you, you, uh, you press sign first and then the number 54. But with, with, with this calculator that I've got, it, it's just, I, I, I will have to punch in, um, 54 first. And then sign. Okay. So, so, so it's just going to be a number. Uh, 0 0.809. Okay. Let, okay. I'm, go, I'm going to push up to 0 0.81. Okay. Uh, so, so here, hang on. Let, let, let me start again. So, so you're given this here. We, we want to work out x here. So this is just a number. So let's, let's get a calculator out and work out that number. Uh, 54 sign. So it would be 0 0.8, and 0, 0, so let me start again. It would be 0 0.809, but I'm going to push up to 0 0.81. Okay. So this is 0, this is 0 0.81. It's just a number. Okay. So, so in effect, it would be this. 9, remember, two things next to each other means time. So it's really 9 times uh, 0 0.81. That's what x is, okay? So hang on, bear with me. So here, uh, now, now, so, so we are going to get 0 0.81 times 9. So this, this is my answer from earlier. Um, uh, and, and then, uh, and then, 
Hang on, let, let, let me start again. So, so 54, I sign it, okay, so it gives me that, and then I times, uh, times 9, and then that, that would be 7 point, uh, 7 point 28. So it's going to be 7.28. So x equals 7.28. Okay. So you go back to here. Um, uh, so, 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 so this, this, this length here is 7. Point, oh, 7. Point what? Sorry. 7.28. This length is 7.28. So if, if, if you're given, uh, if you're given a, a triangle, remember it has to have 90 degrees. If, if this is 54 degrees and this is 9, 9 meters, then this, this length here, has to be 7.28 meters. Okay? I know it sounds weird, but the next video, um, I, I will reiterate, I, I will tell you this again. Um, it, it sounds weird, but just do it a few times and then it will make sense. Um, watch the next video. Okay?